Hi, this is Paul from TradeFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 2nd of April. Uh, I've chosen OSK on the daily time frame. This has been on my swing trading membership watch list for a couple of days now. It's very close to trigger, but I want to talk about two alternatives here. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator Suite combined together for the Think or Swim trading platform. The, both those indicator suites are available for Ninja Trader and TradeStation. But let's take a look overall at OSK for a start. So we've had some corrective action down here from these lows, and then we've had a nice big bullish move, which has been helped by earnings here. And that's uh, our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is labeled up the one, two, three. And then we've had the wave four pullback in which we look for uh, uh, for trading that potential fifth wave move. So the LA wave indicator suite has done its job. Uh, it's also then formed the pullback zones for us in the software uh, to show us that the wave four's pullback in the amber zone. That represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones around about $86 there into this blue target zone at the top. So that's good. The performance of the wave four is very important as well. So during this wave four pullback, we'll see our Elliott Wave oscillator pullback between 90 and 140%. It's started to crown now as we get this bullish momentum coming away from the wave four lows. The next we have the false breakout stochastic here. Uh, the, the, the yellow dots here at the top in the overbought zone denote a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic crosses back against that, and then crosses over in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. Now, part of this stochastic indicator suite is also the uh, stochastic indicator to go along as well with a green arrow. We got that yesterday. OK, now now we combine our black box breakout indicator to give us a more aggressive entry. So the first entry is our using our fifth wave, our Elliott wave indicator suite, our standard type of. Uh, entry strategy here. So we're going to go above the high of yesterday at 77.35 and our stop loss would be below the wave four low at 71.87 with the target 86. That's a risk reward of one to 1.6. So risking a thousand dollars potential reward of one thousand six hundred dollars there. So not a bad risk to reward there. We can see the previous wave three highs around about one to one. Now yesterday we did get a gap up, we closed near the high and we got increased volume. So again, I've combined our black box breakout indicator on this week. So you can see the green candles are up candles with increased volume. The gray candles are up candles, but with lower volume. So yesterday we not only gapped up, we increased volume to the upside. We closed near the high and we got our black box breakout indicator signal here at 77.97 in the bubble and the stop loss is nice and tight at 74.97. So two, two ways of thinking here. We can go pretty conservative with our entry strategy and trade that fifth wave and look uh, to hold that for you know, up to 20 days. Or we could go really aggressive in this and get a really good risk reward and get in and out a lot quicker. Still swinging it. It's Tuesday. We could get out of this if that bullish momentum continues by the end of the week. So let's just put that on there as an alternative. So again, I've combining both to, you know, the, the, the Elliott Wave indicator suite really gives me that confidence of, you know, where we're going. But I've got this signal now and I really want to think about have I got a, a good uh, cause here for an aggressive entry and stop to really, really go for this? So let's just put the risk to reward on here. Uh, 74.97 is the stop. 77.97 is the entry. As you can see, part of our black box breakout indicator does give you the risk reward in the dot and the lines here. I just wanted to put them on to show you where they are. So if we went for the aggressive entry, for the black box breakout indicator, we would get in slightly later than where we're getting in on the swings, but our stop would be a lot higher here. We stop would be at this bubble 74.97. Okay, let me just adjust that. So that now gives us a risk to reward of one to 1.6 to this previous wave three high. So again, for a thousand dollars risk on this aggressive entry strategy, 1,600 to that previous high instead of 1,000. Now, 
well, one to two before the fifth wave target zone. So that's $2,000 profit for a $1,000 risk with the aggression. So you can see now with this aggressive strategy, we could probably almost, uh, by the time we get into that target zone, almost double uh, the profit. Now, obviously, because we've got that tighter stop, if it does go against us, uh, we will get stopped out. But if we've got this more conservative entry strategy here, and we're risking one whole one, so a thousand dollars between this entry and uh, stop loss, you know, it's it, we are we allow for those pullbacks during the fifth wave. Look to hold it to 20 days, 25 days, and eventually get to that fifth wave target zone. So there's two options there: aggressive or conservative. But good looking trade. Everything stacks up on the 535. On the, the false breakout stochastic, and now we're all green on our multiple time frame dot cloud, which is part of our black box breakout indicator there. So, you know, good, uh, good entry strategies there. And hopefully this helps to um, you to decide which type of entry you're going to get on OSK today on the daily time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.